Messer format is the organizational structure for estimating. Because of that, it makes sense that the takeoff should also use the same structure itself. Let's take a look at the levels starting with level one for concrete. So here we have level one, which is 03 space 00 space 00. That's the concrete grouping for the entire project. And that level three is part of the 48 divisions or the 50 divisions as we referred to it earlier. So you have concrete. Then what about the stuff inside of concrete? What about the elements that reside inside of concrete? Level two now is 033100. The 3-1 in the middle represents structural concrete. Next, we'll go to level three. And it ends with 13, which is 033113. The 13 represents heavyweight structural concrete. If you bring heavyweight structural concrete into your estimate with that level three code of 033113, it automatically knows that it belongs to the structural concrete for level two, as well as the concrete grouping for level one. So it's not necessary to identify the quantity takeoff items in greater detail than master formats levels two and three, although it can be done. The key requirement for quantity takeoff is that the items should follow the general master format structure. That is the absolute key to organizing your estimating. So notice that we have three levels of master format that we're working with. The third level itself, heavyweight structural concrete, is typically where you'll be applying your pricing or that's the quantities that you're going to extract out of the model or out of the plans and we're going to put a price on it. Now, should there be a number of heavyweight structural concrete items in the estimate, to say that they all roll up to a level two cost is very appropriate. Structural concrete level two would include any level three items. So understand that levels one, two, and three, they're different levels of costs. Three can roll up into a level two, and two and three can roll up into a level one. If you want to fully expand it to see the greatest amount of detail, you want to view it in the level three. Just be sure that whoever reviews the estimate can easily follow the relationship of the takeoff to the drawings to the estimate. Takeoff items are typically a composite of many related items referred to as assemblies. So again, we have levels one, two, and three. It's broken out the same way, and level one starts out with finishes. It's a very broad, very expansive level. A lot of the interior finishes are included in that. Our level two now is going to include plaster and gypsum board assemblies. And then level three is strictly gypsum board assemblies. Now notice that a level three item that we have here, that gypsum board assembly literally includes framing and tape finishing behind it. It could be up to a certain height. It could be two layers of sheetrock each side of the wall. It could be different gauges and different size studs. But in this particular case, you have a level three, which is 092116, and that is a gypsum board assembly, so you don't have to take off the studs individually. You don't have to take off how many square feet of uh, taping that you might have and how many levels of taping finish you have to apply. Therefore, everything is rolled up nice and neatly into one simple line item, which is a gypsum board assembly, whether it has wood framing or whether it has metal stud framing included.